Dear students, today I am going to tell you about web building spiders. Spiders. Everyone you know, you have seen spiders. Every alternate day, you may be cleaning one or the other corner of your house from the cobwebs. So, spiders belong to the phylum, the arthropoda, class arachnida, the class which includes scorpions, mites and ticks. There are more than 45,000 known species of spiders. The accurate number is 48,200 species of spiders are identified. They found in all habitats of the world, almost all habitats except in Antarctica. Spiders usually found in uh, uh, inside the house you have seen. Uh, you may see in your gardens, uh, in, uh, in between the plants, shrubs, grasses, in the litters, underneath stones. Everywhere you will be able to see varieties of these spiders of various sizes. The size vary from 0.5 mm, very tiny, to the largest one bird eating. Remember, Golak uh, Tarantula, the largest one is called Tarantula and it is about 32 40 centimeter and it weighs about 180 grams. So there are basically two types of uh, uh, spiders, uh, hunting spiders and web weaving spiders. So we are just uh, discussing about web weaving spiders or else uh, uh, web spiders. So hunting spiders are the large size sp uh, spiders. They don't weave uh, uh, web but uh, of course, they also produce uh, uh, silky secretions and uh, they may make egg case out of this and uh, these are the crab spiders and uh, they uh, they uh, wool spiders, all these are hunting spiders. They just, uh, they are uh, uh, a carnivore and uh, they kill, uh, they hide some places and how exactly the hunting strategy, that's why it is called hunting spiders. You, what, how tigers and elephant, uh, sorry, tigers and lions, they, uh, you know, the, uh, they exercise the hunting strategy, the same type these uh, hunting spiders are. So, we just restrict ourselves as per your syllabus, it is uh, web building spiders. Web building spiders construct webs in undisturbed places to capture their food. So basically they build nests, they, it is to trap insects, insects are their food. So that is uh, the one and also there are many uh, you know the, the uh, advantages or the benefits they get from this uh, the web that I will discuss later. They live in and around uh, this web and wait for the uh, the prey or uh, food to come to them and uh, immediately they attack and they capture or else uh, they trap with the help of this uh, web they generally have poor eyesight when compared a uh, hunt uh, hunting web uh, spiders are uh, their eyesight are very good because uh, they need that for the hunting here they here they have uh, some mechanism to trap the prey so that's why their uh, eyesight is not so good as uh, hunting uh, spiders so this uh, uh, the little vibrations uh, that occurs in the the uh, web that will be sensed immediately and uh, they attack the prey many uh, these web building uh, spiders they even they protect the egg and uh, they provide shelter with the help of this uh, web Cob webs you might have seen many times in your house. They are tangled irregular webs built by the house spider or cob web spider they are. So there are varieties of spy, uh, spider webs. You just have a keen observation. It is very important for a biology student to have a keen observation. You have to have a, you have to watch the nature and you have to be curious to uh, see the, these uh, uh, beautiful uh, architecture of these uh, spiders web so the, there may be this type of web that is the funnel web like a funnel or else a beautifully uh, you know circular uh, you, you know it's called orb web spherical orb web or else irregular tangled cob web it is not having a particular shape you will find in your house you will see the cob web or else the sheet web in your garden you may see this all these 
different varieties of uh, this web if uh, dew drops on this web it uh, further uh, you know it it uh, looks very beautiful you should have take the photograph with the hilgar mobile and you have to study this so these are the the way you get motivated towards studying the animals and the, the structures they form by these animals so web building spiders uh, it is uh, uh, basically all spiders the body is divided into prosoma that is what you have studied uh, in the case of prawn cephalothorax that, that uh, you will find this is the prosoma and ophistosoma so ophistosoma is the abdomen prosoma and ophistosoma which are connected with the help of a, a narrow pedicel prosoma covered with the chitinous carapace consisting of six pairs of legs you will able to find all spiders there are six pairs of legs four pairs of walking legs and one pair of uh, pedipalp and a pair of a uh, you know spiny uh, you know the chelicerae so these are chelicerae spiny chelicerae they are having a poison gland and they are ending with the poison claw can you see and uh, just near this you will find that these are the pedipalp pedipalp functions like an antenna so these uh, appendages are uh, these are used for uh, sensory and also capturing uh, so uh, handling the prey whereas the other four pairs of legs they have uh, seven podomeres coxa basis and uh, the femur and uh, uh, there is a, a tibia all these uh, tarsus all these uh, you know the seven podomeres you will able to find in this uh, walking legs so then you will see the how just count the number of eyes there are uh, six to eight eyes here in in this you will find uh, six eyes two the median eye main you will find these eyes are the one uh, they are uh, for the the viewing the things other four you will find they can view even they hunt in the night uh, dark with the poor light also so that time these eyes four eyes going to help so there are you can see here there are about um, six eyes sometimes there may be eight eyes they are on the dorsal side of the prosoma arranged in two rows so uh, ophistosoma is uh, unsegmented the ophistosoma abdomen is un unsegmented and covered by a leathery chitinous skin so just see this uh, with the help of this is the chelicerae and this is the pedipalp first and second pair of appendage this is the second pair and this is the first pair there are a poisonous gland and ending with the claw how it is uh, holding a fly in the with the help of this chelicerae the first pair of leg so uh, uh, ventrally they have a, a respiratory organs uh, in the uh, ventral to the this is the ophistosoma so uh, in the ophistosoma the ventral you can see the book lungs so these uh, book lungs are the one uh, the respiratory organs I, I explained you what exactly the book's lungs and they open outside to a, a spiracle how we have the nostrils and coming to the the silk this is the important how they uh, weave web or they build web because they have varieties of uh, uh, silk glands can you see there are varieties of silk glands here and these uh, they produce a silky substance it is a proteinaceous fluid which comes out through the the opening called spinnerets and once they just you will see this is the electron micrograph and the spinnerets through that the silky thread is coming out here another picture you will find the the web uh, building uh, you know this once it open uh, exposed to the air it will become thick uh, uh, you know tough fiber uh, silk fiber you can see so there are uh, uh, six uh, uh, they are six in number spinnerets and further they are having small uh, openings you can see all these are modified um, you know the abdomen uh, appendage give rise to spinnerets and uh, uh, you will find uh, the the silk glands open into these uh, spinnerets and uh, 
the silky thread will come out like this and other uh, the structure you will find here is uh, the there is a well developed brain and uh, uh, you will find uh, the uh, digestive system and uh, the just uh, you will find elaborate silk glands varieties of silk glands you will be able to see so this is about the anatomy of the this uh, brief anatomy of the spider so these uh, the web building spiders are predators and uh, digestion carried out internally and externally it is very interesting uh, aspect about the feeding and uh, digestion in the case of spiders so the uh, you will find here how exactly it is uh, it uses a uh, uh, web for the capturing the prey once they capture they hold with the help of the chelicerae and pedipalp hold the prey it cannot take or there is no masticatory organs inside in the mouth so it make a, a dig a hole or make a hole on the surface of the prey usually the insect it dig a hole in the <coughs> exoskeleton of the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> exoskeleton of the insect and it pour the digestive enzymes from the esophagus and the stomach into the inside so what you can see these digestive enzymes the proteases and uh, the uh, these uh, they actually make the you know the uh, the inner uh, content of the uh, insect or else the prey uh, they make partial digestion so this uh, partially digested and uh, liquid liquefied food will be uh, sucked uh, by the the uh, uh, by the proboscis they have a proboscis proboscis is going to suck so it is a unusual way of uh, uh, you know feeding what you see in the case of spiders ultimately it suck the liquid part and just throw the exoskeleton so this is how the feeding mechanism you will find in the case of spiders uh spiders are you know it is a open circulatory system as you know arthropoda it is filled with hemolymph so male spiders are smaller than females uh, uh the spiders have a elaborating it is this also very interesting thing to study about the mating rituals of spiders the females usually uh, aggressive and feed the males after mating so usually the females are dominating during mating and uh, you big the you know the uh, there is a famous uh, uh, spider called uh, uh, you know a black widow spider where you can see uh, she uh, once uh, the mating is over she immediately kills uh, the her husband that's why it's called black widow spider so here majority spiders they kill the males and they devour it because the after the mating the job of the husband is over now the a uh, female has to lay so many eggs the protein requirement is so much so that she kills her husband and devours because anyway the it is the husband part is the job is over that's how the uh, the in the spiders you will find so these uh, uh, you know the uh, spiders are oviparous the eggs are packed uh into the the silk bundles called egg sacs so the inner bundle inner uh, you know the soft silk and outer hard silk covering the egg can you see this it is covered with the 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 silk of the the web material so uh, this is uh, the the life cycle of uh, spiders so this uh, spider silk it is very important spider silk is a protein fiber it is uh, uh, how exactly your hair that type you know it's a protein keratin so likewise you can see the the how exactly the the silk from the silk worm it is a protein fiber similarly the what you see the fiber that is uh, that is oozed out from the the spinnerate of the Uh, you know these are all different kinds of uh, <coughs> uh, silk gland and the spinnerate it uh, releases this type you can see the the silk uh, they use the silk throughout their lives spider can even make several different kinds of silk for different purposes for example 
picture they have shown so the one type this uh, the silk gland produces the, the silk which is used for outer egg shell and one type it is inner egg shell one is uh, to uh, you know they capture the the prey the one is uh, for book, forming the elaborate web building and uh, some for the attachment so you will find uh, uh different uh, strength of uh, you know the silk produced by different types of uh, silk glands we will find so there are uh, um, different types of silk glands are there in the inside the abdomen and uh, these uh, silk gland uh, give different varieties of uh, silk the, those are used for different purposes so spiders weave webs to trap insects and uh, and as a it is a spiders are not you should not uh, scared about they are the one they are very helpful and they are the one keeping the insect population under control especially the pest uh, that is uh, uh, you know bothering the rice cotton and other crops they'll be in check because of these uh, spiders so see here how exactly to trap the prey with the help of this uh, web here also so it did uh, this uh, web is used here to trap or uh, wrap the prey so that the prey is immobile so it make a hole with the help of its chelicere you know poisonous chelicere uh, and it can uh, feed on that you know so this is how it is the capturing the prey <coughs> so what are the importance of this silk so it is a the silk is a fibrous protein composed of amino acids glycine alanine and serine it is produced in a liquid form and it's a water soluble form and when it dries into it it will become a insoluble uh, tough fiber so it is of uh, you know the humans uh, have been making use of this spider scales for thousands of years in the time of aristotle the ancient greeks they used cob webs to stop wounds a uh, bleeding wounds will be uh, they use this uh, cob web so that uh, the, it seals the bleeding wounds even the australian uh, tribals aborigines they used silk for fishing uh, fishing net to, to catch small fishes so current lot of research is undergoing on this this is a very tough material this uh, spider silk you may also continue to do lot of research on this and you can make you a uh, uh, lot of um, uh, you know uh, materials you can uh, uh, discover out of this or in, you can uh, make uh, uh, use of this uh, uh, silk in a better way so it is uh, because it is a, a, a tough silk and it's a biodegradable property and be used making a diverse range of items such as bullet proof uh, <clears throat> jackets a uh, light white this is bullet proof jacket for the uh, you know the army people and uh, light white clothing it is a light you know cob webs are not. so this silk is uh, you know when uh, they uh, they able to make it into cloth clothing it will be a very light weight clothing ropes nets seat belts parachutes so this is interesting i'll say send you a, a small video how uh the um, you know the how we it's the parachute is not the, it is the knowledge of uh, human it is we have uh, you know the, the spiders use this uh, parachute uh, with the help of the their own you know the silk and they they can just jump from one place to other with the help of this parachute so it is a very interesting study and photographs i am going to send you in a separate video and uh, they'll be used just it's this is the you know the famous serial spider man how you he's uh, you know uh, so similar you know we can make parachutes rust free uh, panels of uh, motor vehicle boats biodegradable it's very important the how plastics 
are uh, you know causing uh, you know it is non biodegradable so we, why can't we go for the materials we out of the the you know the silk that is from the the uh, web building the spiders we can use for uh, biodegradable bottles or bandages surgical items or threads especially artificial tendons ligaments so many uh, you know the materials uh, uh, we can um, you know uh, we can develop out of these uh, uh, so lot of potentials of uh, research potentials are there in this uh, material so is there anything in the universe more beautiful and protective than simple complexity of spider's web so it's a uh, eb white's uh, saying so this is about uh, web building spiders very interesting uh, creatures and uh, amazing creature on this earth and uh, it is uh, present on this earth since last 400 million years thank you